All right, we're here again today at Hard Racing, and we're going to do a much overdue uh, video on resetting the ECM, resetting your throttle position, and clearing your DTC codes. They kind of all three go in hand in hand, and you do this uh, whenever you change the throttle body settings, change the throttle body, change the fuel injector, change just about anything having to do with the fuel system. Uh, this Honda service manual says to reset the ECM and it also says to reset the throttle position sensor anytime you change the, t the throttle position out, or the, basically a new throttle. Um, but all of them go hand in hand. The first one you have to do if you have any codes is to reset the codes. So we're going to do that first because everything else won't work if you don't reset the codes. So even if you don't have codes, it's best to just do the quick procedure anyways because again if you do have codes then all the other procedures don't work so first thing you want to do is you obviously take off your seat you need to access this little red plug here you just pop the cover off of it to expose the four wires you can just put this here for now you're going to need two paper clips or pieces of wire paper clips work the best because they're rigid and you're going to basically have one in here and one down there, so you'll need two of them. So for right now, the first step, we only need one, so we'll put that up there. So the first step we're going to do is reset or clear the codes out of the ECU. And this is how you do it. Alright, so if you look at the back of your plug, you're going to see four wires. The only ones that you care about are the blue and the green wire. Once again, that's blue and green. So you're going to take your paper clip and stick it into the blue and the green wire holes. And you make sure it stays in there. And that's it. Alright, so now you're going to turn on the power to your bike, you're not starting it, you're just turning on the power and your MLI will come on. And then you're basically going to disconnect this within five seconds and then reconnect it. And then you're going to see a successful pattern on your dash. Alright, so once again you got the jumper in the blue and the green. Go ahead, turn your ignition on, pull the plug out, and put it back in within five seconds. The light will blink successful. If you don't see it blinking like that, that means it didn't work, and you got to turn the bike off and do it over again. So just remember, it has, that is a successful blinking pattern. That's the only way you know if it was done correctly. So, if you don't get that, do it again. Alright, so that was step one. Now, step two, resetting the ECU. Same jumper plug, green and blue wire. Only difference now, you're going to take and hold the throttle wide open with the bike turned off turn the bike on the light is going to start flashing quickly within five seconds let go and now it's going to blink successful pattern Basically, it's blinking every, what, one second? Every two seconds? That's the successful pattern. If it didn't do that, you didn't do it correctly. All of this stuff has to be done correctly or it doesn't work. So, if you skipped step one and went into this one, and it's not doing it right, that's probably why. So, again, start with step one we just did then step two, and then step three will be resetting your TPS. 
You only need to reset the TPS if you changed out your throttle body or if you made some adjustments to it over and beyond the way it came from the factory. So if you tinkered with it or you pulled it off or whatever, or it's just not running right, you know, and you did something with, you know, then just reset it. All right, so step three, the last one, resetting the throttle position sensor. Same thing, jumper, your green and your blue wire. Then you come down here to your temperature switch on your side of your head, disconnect it and take another wire and put it in there. And you're putting that in the actual plug, not in the sensor. So now you've got those two jumpered. You're going to turn on the bike. Again, not starting, just turn it on. And watch for it to start blinking. As soon as it does, within 10 seconds, you go ahead and unplug that bottom wire and then you should get a successful blink pattern. So watch the dash, so you turn the bike on, wait for it to start blinking, disconnect it, and now you'll get a successful pattern. And that's it. Now you have done all three of them. You've erased your codes, you reset your ECU, and you reset your throttle position sensor. If you do a big bore kit, all these are a must, period. If you don't do them, your bike won't run right, period. Just go ahead and look up on the forums and Facebook about people who didn't do these right and how much pain in the butt it was, that's why. So. Make sure to do these, do them in the steps that we just showed, and it'll make everything else go a lot better. But basically what you've just done is told the Grom's ECU, hey, I have new product on here, learn it. Figure it out and learn it. Because anytime you make changes to it, the ECU thinks something's wrong. Especially if you change out the throttle body, it's going to think, oh my gosh, something's wrong. And it's just going to run really whacked out the, the throttle is going to feel like crap, everything is going to be revving all over the place. It's all because you changed something and did not tell the ECU that you changed it. So make sure you do these whenever you're modifying, changing anything, throttle, uh, fuel injector, inject, anything having to do with that. Just look at the Honda service manual. It tells you to do this. If you don't have a copy of it, that's why we did this video. Because even reading the paperwork, a lot of people get confused. So we figured do the video instead, show them firsthand exactly what everything's supposed to look like, and that way it makes your life a lot easier. So if you have any other questions or comments, just give us a call. We're always here to help. Hardracing.com.